Uh, okay, we will explain here the first project that is made on AWS, but you can make it also on your computer and on Google Collapse. Uh, the first thing is to register to Kaggle. Uh, Kaggle is a platform that there hosts competitions, data sets, examples of code. There are plenty of people that are experts, data scientists, data engineers and so on and make a lot of uh, effort doing the notebooks so you can not only compete but also understand uh, machine learning uh, artificial intelligence from Kaggle it's actually a good source for learning and also they have a free GPU like 30 hours per week so you can uh, train your models easy in an easy way using Kaggle uh, the next thing is to create an API token uh, with this token you can connect to Kaggle and download the data set okay I installed here the components to use AutoGluon AutoGluon is a, a let's say a package I don't know how to say it because usually when you do pip install you start package uh, AutoGluon will help you to to develop uh, practically different kinds of model in an easy way uh, in the end we will ensemble the models and that's a, a short story but uh, AutoGloon is more than that so we first set the API key okay <laughs> this is my API key I will change it uh, immediately when I finish the the, the video <laughs> uh, next thing we will download a uh, Kaggle data sets from uh, okay we'll first uh, check if we have installed the, uh, the Kaggle package next the Kaggle version download the data set import auto blue and pandas look for the train uh, CSB and look for the first rows you will see here that we have uh, like 12 uh, columns and five rows that usually that the head gives you five rows so we'll see here that when we parse this actually we use a daytime format and also all other values are numerical we'll predict on count and we use the other uh, parts of the data set except casual and register to uh, define the model so we will describe the the whole data set you will see that the minimum is one the maximum is four for the season and other parameters so you will get a pretty good knowledge about the data set with the describe and also with info the train for example data frame dot info in this case is train dot info you will see the kind of values that are inside the the data set if there are days there are objects there are float 64 etc so the same thing for the test set and the same thing for the submission with the submission we will parse the data and the count so we in the end we will uh, put the results on the count column and that's all we will submit this thing the next thing is to use auto glue on we will uh, predict the label as count and uh, we will use regression as uh, the problem type of solving uh, and the evaluation metric is the room mean square error we will ignore these columns as I told you previously and we'll fit the model in, uh, with a time limit of 600 seconds and win the best quality in the end autogluon will uh, uh, spit a lot of values and um, usually you will see on the uh, first one the most uh, or the best uh, model usually it's the ensemble one and uh, in this case is minus 52 the score well when we make the predictions we'll see these predictions actually we can score it again with uh, some uh, function for cycle learn but uh, we will uh, pass it through to the uh, next things uh, they are making these things for example making to see if there are negative predictions because when you submit in Calgary you don't have 
you don't, must not have negative prediction. So we'll submit to the to Kaggle, and here it is. We have a, a sort of a submission here. Of course, I made some mistakes, and I did several times. And in the end, we'll next go ahead and uh, explore a little bit the data set. We'll see that some data are skewed from the left, some data are skewed from the right. They are not following, probably here they follow the normal distribution, but we are not uh, taking it in consideration to, to make the model in this example. The other, uh, the other uh, type of data are more discrete and others are skewed. So you can do several things here, but we will make the thing simple. Uh, here we parse the dates, uh, sorry, make another kind of features from the daytime. Uh, for example, the year, the month, day, the hour. Next, uh, I was looking how to move uh, numerical values to, for example, categor categorical values. So I will make a function that you insert the data frame, put the column they want to change, and the values, and it will change you the values as here, for example, for the weather, for the spring. Actually, we can do it for any kind of, of column. So in the end, again, we will see on the histogram uh, another kind of data that we will, uh, let's say, create new features. You will see here the day, hour, the month, the year that are part of the data. So those new features are part now of the training set. So for the training set, now we will predict with these new features. And on the end, we will predict like minus 30.11, uh, the ensemble model. So for we will predict again. Sorry, we will look again if there are zero values or sorry, zero values, not uh, values that are less than zero. There are no values less than zero, and we will submit again to the uh, to using the Kaggle API. So, uh, okay, here we will submit again the 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 report of the or the result. As I told you previously, we uh, have to. Uh, read the data set again and change the count column with the predicted features. Uh, we will submit it and we will get this value. On the, on the uh, last part, we do hyperparameter optimization. We'll tune using several kinds of models. For example, neural network optimization with uh, GVM optimization and K nearest neural optimization. So we will feed these parameters using. Uh, the 600 seconds for five times the trial. Uh, we will uh, put these hyperparameters to the tabular predictor again. Same thing, we will predict the count with uh, the evaluation, met evaluation metric will be the root mean square error. And the ignorer, ignorer uh, columns will be, we will be the the casual and the register uh, columns. Again, uh, it will speed again new values, but this uh, score is a little bit different. We will see again when we will submit to Kaggle that the best score or the best prediction was um, the one that got the new features only, not the new features only with optimization. So. Uh, writing a report, you will see it on the first time uh, we will get a better prediction or better performance on the second inter interaction when we add the new features, not the hyperparameter optimization. That's what the initial value. And for the, where is the other graph? Where is the other graph? Okay, hyperparameter table. There is another graph. I don't find it. Oh, oh here it is. 
this graph is, says that for the initial value, the, the score for initial score one is not as good as the previous value for hyperparameter limit. Using this uh, uh, the model versus the score, but related to the ensemble data. So the additional features added was the best model for us. And that's all. In the end, we will list all the hyperparameter used and we will make a data frame with the values. So that's all. It's just uh, how to make a simple model with tabular data, with the tabular predictor of, of auto gluon, completing the uh, the whole uh, the the whole notebook using a Kaggle API. So uh, this is one of the first things that you did on machine learning. Usually you get tabular data and predict values. In this case, it was regression, but you will obviously you will start with classification and probably on the next uh, on the next videos I will talk about in the implementation using uh, neural networks neural networks and also uh, computer vision so that's all hope you like the video and on follow again me on the channel for uh, the next video probably I will be making something related to robotics just ho hooking up everything and I hope you like it all. That's all. Fine. Thanks.